Thousands will protest the possible repeal of net neutrality today, including right here in the Metro. KCTV 5 Stephanie Kayser explains why they're organizing. How many of us are guilty of going on Netflix or online shopping throughout the day? Well, I can tell you that I definitely am. So what if you were charged more to do so? Well, that's what corporations want to do, charge you more for the sites that you use more often. And that's why they want to repeal net neutrality. Today, protests are going on to stop its repeal. It matters to me that Kansas be informed. Ellen is organizing one of the nationwide demonstrations today in Kansas. What we want people to know is that net neutrality is your right to free and open internet and that taxpayers paid for the infrastructure to get it there so we have a right to use it. Technology expert Burton Kelso says most people really want net neutrality. It's the big corporations who support the repeal because the regulations cost them money. It affects the average internet user because it means more fees. So if you're in a town where you have a small internet provider and they're going to be asked to charge fees to their server to their people using their services, they're not going to be able to afford it. Corporations say the existing rules prevent them from offering a wider selection of services at higher and lower price points. But it's not just about money. Kelso says one thing people don't realize is that if net neutrality goes away, it allows your internet service provider to sell your information. If that information gets in the hand of advertisers, then you could see an increase of targeted ads. Thousands of people across the nation are protesting its repeal. Two protests are happening here in the metro, one in Olathe and one outside the Verizon store on Main Street in Kansas City. The protest starts at 3 and goes until sundown. Protesters also want people to reach out to their local congressmen. Now the vote on the repeal of net neutrality is next Wednesday. In Kansas City, Stephanie Kayser, KCTV 5 News.